Now let's go ahead and get right over to Andrew for the very latest. Andrew. Thank you very much, Sandra and Steve. And the wet weather is not done with us yet. However, the severe thunderstorms, the tornadoes, or at least the threat of tornadoes, that has subsided, and that's a piece of good news. Now, that being said, it is still wet out there with showers and a few thunderstorms that are out there. Not much in the way of lightning with these, but some heavy downpours still persist. You can see here in Livingston County, stretching down to Ann Arbor, you'll experience a few heavy downpours within the next couple of minutes. Same thing for folks in Lenaway County with another line of thunderstorms, a small one, but still poised to move through that county within the next hour or two and more wet weather down to our south. These cells right here, they scoot across portions of Ohio, but back to the west, there's more moisture, including showers and thunderstorm activity in other parts of the Midwest because of the risk of more rain tonight. No more severe thunderstorm watches, no more tornado watches overnight tonight. The tornado watch was allowed to expire a couple of hours ago. But a flood watch remains in effect because of more impending rain for tonight. So don't be surprised by more ponding on the roadway, whether it's overnight or when you wake up early on your Sunday. Look at the rain total so far between four and six inches common across much of the area. Thanks goodness this wasn't winter, right? Instead of five inches right here in Detroit, we'd be talking about 50 inches of snow. Nonetheless, five inches of rain, that is absolutely astounding. Over five inches in Ann Arbor, nearly seven inches in Garden City, Richmond, northern, northern Macomb County, over four inches. 